Hey guys, Yasil here, back with another video. And today we're going to be looking at a um, a project that I put together um, that has been completely based off the instructions given by Dbar168 from Instructables. A big thank you to him. Uh, this des this is his design. Um, all credit goes to him. I I just have the components uh, required for the setup, and I whatever I didn't have, I ordered. So um, a big thank you for him for this design and the the very detailed instructable. Um, so I'm going to dig in deeper into this project and just discuss uh, some of the components used and where my uh, my build differ differs from from uh, the original one. So I just want to quickly discuss uh, the how useful or why this is useful. Uh, let me turn this off for now because uh, these load resistors are going to get quite warm. Um, so I've salvaged quite a few of these lithium iron cells from old uh, laptop battery packs. Um, so that I have quite a few of them, and the reason why this is useful is because it can it can test the capacity of the battery. Uh, now it's 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 difficult to know how much capacity a a battery cell has just by measuring its voltage because uh, it doesn't give you a true indication of the capacity of the battery. Um, so therefore, you need to discharge this battery and and measure how much of current that's been drawn from it uh, uh, over time. So we'll know how much of milliamp hours each battery cell um, yeah, has. So this is exactly what the circuit does. This circuit does is it discharges a battery and makes and records um, how much of current is being drawn from the battery and 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 how much of capacity um, that that this battery has. So it measures it over over time. So so yeah, to quickly go through um, uh, the components, um, here I have a eighteen six fifty uh, lithium ion battery cell holder. Uh, this is a OLED screen. This is a 128 by 64 uh, OLED screen, which can, you can cheaply pick up off uh, AliExpress or Banggood or eBay. Uh, this is an Arduino Pro Mini. Um, this uh, uh, my so this Arduino Pro Mini didn't come with a micro USB breakout. So um, I had to use one of these uh, these micro USB to serial converters, and I think this is the CP2102. Uh, um, I, I could be wrong, but I think I think this is the the chip that I'm using uh, to supply power and to reprogram this chip if necessary. Uh, I think this is one of the one of the only things that that differs from uh, Deba 168's design uh, is that I think his micro uh, um, his Arduino Pro Mini had a USB break a micro USB breaker which is super useful. Um, so I, mine didn't have, so I, I I just had to make do with uh, with this with this breakout. Um, this is a little piezo speaker. The speaker sounds when the the battery has discharged to a a, a to a, uh, when it's when the battery uh, voltage is, is very low, which is set at uh, two point nine volts. It also it also starts buzzing when the voltage of the battery is too high, which means it's over four point two four point two volts. Um, uh, here I have a transistor. This transistor is the um, IFLZ44N. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. It's the IRLZ44N uh, transistor uh, MOSFET. Sorry, yeah, it's a MOSFET. Uh, so basically, how the circuit works is the Arduino measures the voltage of the battery. If it's within range, so if it's within 2.9 and 4.2, it can start discharging uh, using these load resistors. So, oh yeah, these load resistors, I'm using a 10 watt, 10 ohm load resistor. In the original design, he used one uh, one of these 10 ohm resistors. Uh, it discharges at about 500 milliamps, um, but I, I wanted to discharge these batteries a bit quicker because I, I didn't want to leave them... Uh, discharging overnight or anything like that. I, I was hoping I could draw more current uh, from these batteries so I can see the capacity quickly. So I'm using two of them in parallel. So effectively, this is a a a five ohm uh, five ohm uh, power load resistor, uh, and these get quite warm, but it's it, it's not um, it's not it's not very very high um, in temperature. It's not it's not too too hot. Um, so so yeah, like I was saying, this Arduino Pro Mini measures the voltage of the battery capacity. If it's within range, it it uh, it it sends a signal to the MOSFET to allow uh, a current to flow through and through the load resistors, and the load resistors just discharges uh, the battery, um, and 
the inf and uh, the the current drawn from these load resistors are recorded, so you can see on screen how much of current is being drawn from the battery, and your capacity. So it's your milliamp hour. So how much of how much of current is drawn uh, uh, um, uh, per hour? And basically that's it. It's it's a very simple design. I did all the wiring on the back, uh, and used little. Um, I didn't have fancy spaces for this bolt, so I used uh, some of the uh, computer case thumb screws. Um, as as feet, um, so yeah, just to show you in action how it works again. Um, you plug in micro USB cable, and it starts up. Um, it's this is the battery the the battery's voltage. Uh, that's the current being drawn, which will should start. There we go. Uh, this is the current being drawn from the battery, and this is its milliamp uh, its capacity. So milliamp hours. Um, so you yeah so I, I you, you leave this for like an hour or two uh, based well depending on how much capacity the battery has and once it starts beeping saying um, low voltage then you can remove the the battery and disconnect the circuit and record the its capacity so once again big big thank you to Debo one six eight for his amazing instructable uh, it's it's a really useful uh, project and it was fun working on this um, thanks guys for watching I'll leave all the uh, the listings. Um, the seller things of the components in the description below. Uh, once again, all credit goes to Deba168. Thanks for watching. Cheers.